I'm back and the mess <laughs> is building. I am on box two from my live shop along that I did at Yesteryear Antique Center in Hanover, Pennsylvania. And we had so much fun. I am excited to guys. <laughs> I am excited to show you guys more of the super unique, awesome stuff everyone picked out. Now, before I continue unboxing, just in case you're unfamiliar or you're just tuning in and you're like, what is the live shop along? Um, I've been doing this thing. This is my, my second time. It went much smoother, if you ask me. Of course, I had um, extra hands and was a little bit more prepared with a calculator, an extra battery charger, portable, um, you name it. It takes a lot to put one of these on. Um, an extra shout out to the wonderful staff and um, vendors at yesteryear. Sorry, I just got a message. <laughs> um, I didn't put my phone on airplane mode before I did this, which is what I usually do. Um, so back at it. Hold on. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. So the prices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the item and I'm going to just read what's on the tag. I ended up leaving with over a hundred items. Uh, the receipt is like this long. They were nice enough to leave the tags on me. So it's super easy to do a haul video to show you guys everything. Um, some of the vendors were running discounts 20 to 30% usually. Now I am not going to go through the discounts. I'm just going to show you what's on the tag. And in case you're wondering how the pricing works, um, the live stream shop along was on whatnot. Whatnot takes 13%. I have to buy packing materials. I have to box all this stuff up. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot that goes into this. Like I said, however, all the t the starting prices started at 50% markup. So for example, if something was $10, no discount, I started at 15. Um, that's really the only way I have found, I've watched other people who've done this and it's expensive to do this. But honestly, I just do it because I love it and it's fun and it's fun to do things differently, especially um, when it gets kind of repetitive sometimes doing the same thing over and over again. It's nice to switch it up and take you guys shopping with me in real time and see what you guys picked out. I love seeing things through other people's perspective. It makes it more fun and it refreshes the experience for me. And uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. I think I said everything I needed to say. Did I say everything I needed to say? <laughs> One thing I did differently, well, I tried to do more of it, but honestly, we ran into so much traffic on the way up. It took us over two hours to get there. It was like two and a half hours. It was insane. Two hours and 40 minutes, actually, um, <laughs> when it's supposed to take like an hour and 40 minutes. So I wanted to go through and pre-select certain items just in case there was a lull or a time where I just needed a break. Um, I could go through and I had preloaded items that I had chose before I went live. Um, I did get a few things, not as much as I wanted during this time. Uh, the first thing I got was this sweet little teddy bear. I couldn't resist him at $9. And then if you guys have been following me, you know, I've been going crazy over costume jewelry. Um, this was one of my favorites. This was $6, which I find insane. It almost looks like Napier. Um, I think I said that right. Kathy, the kitschy cat has this fabulous Napier bunny head box that, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking about, honestly. It was so neat. I've seen one out in the wild since. I was surprised to find this wasn't marked. I feel like it should be marked, but alas, that was one of the items I pre-selected. I also pre-selected this little googly-eyed dog pin. I don't know why I just took the tag off him. I think it was $6. You know, I'm a sucker for googly eyes. I also picked out these little plastic bird salt and pepper shakers. They were $4. Um, I love the plastics. I've been super into mid-century plastics recently. And, you know, I also love my bone china. Now, these weren't functional salt and pepper shakers, but they did have their original foil stickers, and I'd never seen them before. I love that they were like the little dogs. Boxer dogs, salt and pepper shakers, starting at $6. Here's one thing that I definitely would have grabbed uh, if I had seen it first. This started at $6. This cat is a super good selling cat. Um, the reason it was a little priced a little bit less than usual is because he's missing his whiskers, but still, nevertheless, I think he's fabulous. Here's a couple more things I hand selected beforehand. This fused glass, um, kind of, 
handkerchief vase. It's kind of interesting, a bowl. They say votive holder, but I feel like it could be multifunctional. I loved the colors and of course the texture on it. It was super neat. And this was marked at 15. I also went ahead and picked up these little dog salt and pepper shakers. These were $6. They were in really good condition. Uh, although this is kind of a more common set, the price was really right. And it had been at least two years since I had picked one up. And then I also grabbed this owl bank, which I couldn't resist. Look at how funny this is. And uh, this was marked at nine. Another two items I pre-selected. You know, I love my salt and pepper shakers. These owls I thought were super fantastic and they were only at six. I also grabbed these. Now they did have a hairline in it, but it's kind of a harder set to find and they only started at $3. Look at how cute these little pigs are. You guys, I just wanted to put these pigs on the shelves and I have no idea how I missed it, but look at the stickers on them. One says happy and one says gay. <laughs> Those are hilarious, I love these. I love doing this too, cause I get to go through some stuff that I maybe normally wouldn't go through. Uh, although I do love old medical stuff. Um, these little tins were super unique and I might've passed them up if I was by myself. This one I'm pretty partial to, the x -Lox chocolate uh, laxative. And they do have um, the medication or x -Lax. I don't know what you wanna call it, inside of it. This one started at four, which is a great price. Oh my gosh, let me just not throw it. <laughs> um, and then the antacid, this one had the pills and original paper in it as well, the directions at $8. And then helps, again, this one was at six and it has the tablets in it as well. I love the sweet compact. Compacts went crazy. People, we were buying them up. This one started at $9. It's got the sweet hand painting on the front and then the back has that really nice design. A necessity for any vintage cat collector, the Cat Gum Parker, which started at $12. This one was super unique. It almost looked Italian and it was signed. Look at that guy. <laughs> you guys, this whole box is filled with teeny tiny miniatures. So bear with me a second. Okay, this is, uh, this is gonna be up close and personal for a second. Look at these two cute little Hagen Reniger miniature rabbits. There's the brown one and the white one. These started at six and seven dollars. A couple little cats. Of course, the Bone China Siamese. That only started at three. And then look at this cute little one made in Japan. Um, it's almost got a pink hue to it. That one, the tag said eight. And of course, you know, we love our sugar poodles. This one started, well, the tag said, I should say. It didn't start because like I said, the 50% markup, um, I can't even tell you how much time I spend doing this, but I love it, so it's okay. Um, this one was $6, which is awesome because normally the flowers on these are chipped. So this one looks in good condition. And something I might not have normally picked up um, I actually had these when I was younger, these little Mickey and Minnie Disney Taiwan. They're fabulous. They're in great condition. It's hard to find these at a, as a pair. Um, I usually see Mickey, not Minnie and Mickey together. And the price was right at 14 for the pair. This one I'm pretty partial to. This is something I probably, I mean, I, I'm not a big class person, like I said, but this miniature Fenton duck. Look at how fantastic that is. That one was at 50. And to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen this before. And there's something very unique and sweet about it. A really special find for sure. Next up, this little set of Josef Originals pigs. I was losing my mind over these. I thought these were so funny. Uh, they were marked at 14. One of the smaller ones in the set has a chipped ear. But look at these guys' expression. I mean, they're hilarious. There's that one. And then even better, just when you think it couldn't get any better. Um, you have the two miniature sad pigs. How fantastic are they? I, I love these guys. I would have picked these up even if no one had been on them. I thought they were great. Um, two other things that I picked up before anyone even saw. Oh, no. Dang, the kangaroo didn't make it. I was just getting ready to say that I would have been nervous about shipping him. Uh, I will have to message the buyer. That stinks, the little kangaroo's leg. 
broke. That sucks. You know what? He was so dainty. I was a little scared to pick him up. Look at how cute he is. That was marked at eight. Um, uh, But it's okay. It happens. I would have been probably hesitant to pick him up for resale just because of the way his legs were in the first place. I would have been scared to ship it. I would have been scared to carry it home. And I just was in the zone and I did it anyway. The other thing that I pulled was this little Hagen Renegar Chihuahua. I thought it was a deer at first, but the Chihuahua, I don't think I've seen. And that was at seven. I think this is the last of the Hagen Renegar. Um, we also had the Japan Siamese cat at seven. But yes, this must have been the last Hagen Renegar, I believe. I hope so. I'm seeing a lot of tags. I think I made a little bit of a mess. They had it very organized for me and I made it messy. Um, The little sleeping baby. I do believe that one was at 24. I don't know what happened to the tag. I did something weird with it, unboxing the tinies. Um, and then speaking of tinies, we also found Little Red Riding Hood, the Bone China Japan. And of course, the Napco wear. These were marked at 24. Now, the, what's super unique about this set is that they're candle holders. I feel like normally I just see them in their figurines. So these are super cute little Napco wear Christmas angels. And last but not least, the last item in box number two, this incredibly gorgeous um, Art Deco Pink Depression Satin Frosted Wendy Powder Box. And that was marked at 35 which was a really good deal, honestly, because this thing is in super good condition and the face on it is super defined, though it's kind of hard to tell through the camera. It's fantastic. So that brings us to the end of box two. There's three more to go. Um, actually, this one doesn't look like it has too much stuff in it. You guys, this, <laughs> I felt so bad. I had no idea how badly Rachel wanted it until I started to run it. It went to a very good home. Uh, this is perhaps one of the most fantastic plush I've ever seen. I've never seen a Humpty Dumpty like with the celluloid face in this size. Even though he's got a little dimple, uh, he's in pristine condition. He started at 25 and, well, the tag says 25, and he is everything. These sell for good money, of course. Um, I mean, I've had smaller ones. They, ha they have, uh, I actually have one that's really rough. Hold on. This is mine. <laughs> yeah, I am like in love with these. I think they're so fun. Mine is super rough. It was the only way I could justify keeping it. I only paid a couple dollars for him and it was well worth it. So uh, my next mission is to uh, find Rachel one of this size that's in a decent condition. That's not like breaking the bank because some of them can get really pricey. I've sold them anywhere from 45 to like 100. I think the Christmas one in pristine condition went for like 140 or something crazy. I'd have to look it up. Don't quote me, but it was a lot. Maybe 120, 90. I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot. So um, this was definitely uh, the win of the day <laughs> for me and Rachel. We had, or Rachel and I, we had a great time giggling over this thing. And I hope you love it as much as we do. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and do box three now um, since I already pulled the largest item. This deer is so unique. This was marked at 29. Vintage fur covered beautiful young deer. And that is real fur of some sort. It's very unique. Also, we got these. Now they're they are calling them salt and pepper elf shakers. Japan <laughs> unusual. I love their descriptions. Um, the vendor writes on these. Uh, these were marked at 16. They definitely are unusual. They're like elf gnomes or something. <laughs> yeah, definitely weird. And they're sitting on books and reading books. Definitely a weird combination. We like weird. Now, I have to remember that these two mice were sold together. They were sold in a bag as a pair, even though they don't go together. Um, They do have, I think they are both uh, 1970s left in. It was only $1.50 for both. And they are that bisque material but they were so cute. And a lot of the times the flowers are super chipped on these. I only had one tiny little nick on one that one of the edges of the flowers. Um, but again, it was for the pair and it was at like two bucks. This little horse figurine, it started at $2. Well, it was a dollar on the tag, so $2. I couldn't resist. Um, no one really requested it, but I picked it up just because of the price. And I really liked the little swirls on it. Kind of unique, made in Japan, kind of a Czechoslovakian style to it. Next up, the Hazel Atlas Strawberry. 
This one was at three dollars. You can't beat these prices. Um, it only had one little tiny nick in the paint right here, but it's so tiny you barely notice. And again, that was a great deal. All right, we have made it to the last item in box number box number three. <laughs> um, this is something I've never seen before either. This was Joseph Original Musical Box Ornament, and the tag said fifteen dollars. It's so weird. I've never seen one. And of course it plays Fur de Lis and it's got the little bouquet of flowers on it, which are super unique. Making sure those, yeah, so they do bend. I was making sure. Um, these are fantastic. This is fantastic. It's so detailed. Very cool. So that's boxes one through three so far. We have two more to go. So I will see you on our next, in well, my next unboxing video. And Thank you again for watching and all your support. I, I'm i probably halfway across the country by now. So um, <laughs> I got to I gotta get all this stuff packed up so I can pack the car for this trip that I'm on currently. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.